This little Fujifilm lens is a big and nice surprise for me. If you're new to the channel, my name is Andre Dima and I'm a professional travel photographer and video maker and in the past months I've been trying to downsize my kit as much as possible. So when I got my X-T5, like all people, I looked at the list of lenses that can benefit from the 40 megapixel sensor. And for my surprise, here was the 16mm f2.8. So I went ahead and got one and I've been enjoying it so much in the past months. And that is why I wanted to make this review. I know this lens is out for a while now, but I wanted to see how it does on the 40 megapixel sensor of the Fujifilm X-T5. Also, while testing this lens, I found something amazing about it that almost nobody is talking about. But more on this later. So let's start the review with build quality. Like all Fujifilm lenses, the build quality is great, but I don't know why this lens gives me the impression that it is better put together. Mostly because of its aperturing. I think it is very well balanced. The clicks are firm, but not too firm. The ring turns smoothly and it is not loose or too dampened. For me, it is just perfect. And that makes using this lens a joy. I like the shape of the lens hood, its size and how well it snaps into place. The lens cap, again, it feels better than on other lenses. The focus ring is smooth and has a nice throw when you use it to manually focus for photography or video. The fact that the Fujifilm XF 16mm f2.8 is weather sealed is a huge bonus and it is a great feature to have for any type of photography from travel to street. The overall feel of using this lens or just holding it is great. It makes you want to go out and take photos. And now let's talk about the big surprise. Then the image quality and overall impressions. The big surprise is the autofocus for photography, but mostly for video. It is almost as good as the one on the Viltrox 13mm. And that says something. No one mentioned this lens as a good alternative for video. Most of this review was made on the X-T5, but the video autofocus test you are about to see was made on the X-H2S with the firmware 3.0, the best Fujifilm has to offer. This is a very good option for people that are looking for a medium wide lens for video. The focus is smooth and accurate and it can be tweaked to be faster or slower depending on your needs and focus pulls. It works very well in low light. Having smoother corners and a bit of character, this lens can give you some nice cinematic footage. The photo autofocus is one of the fastest I've seen on Fuji lenses. Again, it is accurate and you can use these to photograph fast moving subjects from close distances. Let's get to image quality and this one is going to be tough for some, but yes, the lens takes advantage of the 40 megapixels. But in the center, the center looks great starting from f2.8 but the far edges and corners never get sharp. This is because Fuji had to make some sacrifices to make the XF 16mm f2.8 so small and an f2.8. The corners are not horrible, but they are soft from f2.8 to f8. At f8 I can say they are decent. But let's get back to the center. It's nice and sharp from f2.8. Contrast is also great. Stop down to f4 and contrast is spectacular. At f5.6 sharpness goes to razor sharp and contrast is still amazing. So if you want to get this lens, you need to keep in mind the corners are soft but I still love the image quality this lens can provide. I mean the center is amazing. I would recommend this lens more for street photography than landscape, but if corners are not a thing for you, I highly recommend this one. Flare is very well controlled. It has some vignetting at f2.8. Chromatic aberrations again are well controlled. 
the minimum focus distance is 17 cm and at f2.8 you get decent image quality with a bit of ghosting. Stop down to f4 for great image quality. And finally the bokeh of the lens, which is quite pleasing for a f2.8 wide angle lens if you get close enough to your subject. Overall I love the Fujifilm XF 16mm f2.8 RWR even if the corners never get sharp enough for my taste. It's super well built, it has maybe the best aperture ring, it's small and light and the focus for video and photo is just great. Want to see more Fujifilm videos? Subscribe and check out my other videos, lens reviews, the newest Fujifilm camera reviews, updates and tutorials. And if you want to support the channel, even more, check out my presets and use the links in the bio. See you soon.